Hello everyone, Mike Greppel here from another set of eyes and I hope you're having a great day and it's time for today's blog post. This is a great one I think. Um, it's going to take a little bit and it's a little complicated but uh, it uh, started out, it was initiated by a response to a request on uh, a users group in LinkedIn and someone put a link to a video of a dueling uh, podcast between Mr. Excel, Bill Jellen, and uh, Mike Gervin, Excel is Fun. As a matter of fact, I'll put a link to that video down below uh, so you can watch it directly, but I thought I would uh, kind of do my own version of it and uh, hopefully um, all those that see this will get a chance to um, possibly use it in their day-to-day -day work or some uh, function that they may have that could be useful. Here's the process. I have basically a data here of or a, a, a com compilation of photos and the names that I want to call those photos. In this case I only have four. Um, you can have many more than that. And what I want to do is in my catalog here I'm going to put a drop-down box and have the name grapes, glasses, sun, and heart be the names of these photos. And if I select one of those from this drop down list, I want that photo to appear here. So think about it as maybe you have a catalog, an online catalog, or something else that uh, uh, someone wants to select a product and you pick that product and you want to show a picture of that product. So. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our data validation list. And uh, just to make it easy, we're actually going to name the list, grapes, glass, sun, and heart. Um, we're going to call that list wine. So in order to name that uh, selection, I can highlight it, the name wine that I want to call it, and the list, and go to create from selection, say top row is where the name I want to use is, and say OK. So now if I highlight these four, notice it's called wine. And so that's what I want it to be. So if I go over to catalog, click on that cell, go to my data tab, um, the data tab on the ribbon, and go to data validation here. And I'm going to select list. And in list, the source of list is equals wine. No, I have a caps lock on there. So do that equals wine say okay now my drop down list I have my four choices there okay next I want to name each one of these cells by the name grapes glass sun etc now notice how my picture has to be contained within the cell it cannot overlap multiple cells because basically I'm referencing that cell not necessarily the picture itself. So you need to make sure your pictures are contained within a single cell. So now I'm going to highlight those like that and again go to formula and create from selection and this time I'm going to say left column because that's where the names are for the cells that I want to name. I'll say OK and now if I click here it's called grapes. I go down it's called glasses, sun, and heart. So I've named these cells where the photos are, and I've also created my drop-down here. Now, <clears throat> if you recall, another function that is uh, very common is the indirect function. And what happens with indirect? Indirect, in fact, let's just take a look at it, equals indirect. You can see it returns the reference specified by a text string. So if this is heart and I that's basically a text string and I want to have it reference an actual cell I can use the indirect function to do so so what I'll do here is do control F3 and say new and under new I'm gonna name this say wine photo and my formula is going to be equals indirect parentheses, that cell, close parentheses, and say OK. And so now if I click on that, actually you see how it highlights one of the pictures. So that's a one way to test to make sure that your reference is correct. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say close that. Now the next thing I want to do 
is I want to just copy a picture, any picture, doesn't really matter. I'm going to copy it, go over here, paste it anywhere in this general area, and now I want to, on that picture, I'm going to assign a name to it, and I'm going to put it equals wine photo. I'll double click there, click enter. So now if I hit a down, my down arrow here and select any one of those names, it is now referencing that cell name that's associated with each of the pictures. And it's that simple. So let's kind of recap what we've done here. We've named, we've selected our pictures and made sure that they were contained within a single cell, named those cells by the names that we wanted them to be, created a drop down list of those names, and then put a, uh, a name to formula here by using Control F3, Name Manager, and called it Wine Photo, and then copied a picture onto here and selected a picture, and by selecting that picture, then put up that that's equal to Wine Photo, which was the name that we assigned to this drop down. So now by selecting a drop down, you get the photo that is associated with that name. And there you have it. Actually, maybe it wasn't so hard. It took me a few times to go through it before I got the hang of it and it may take you the same or you might get it right off the bat. Hope it's useful to you. Hope you liked it. Thanks a lot for stopping by. And if you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.